All right, what do you got, Tyler? All right, well, speaking of that Thursday night game, let's start there. Aaron Rodgers, you were alluding to it a little bit there, Waddle, and what he's been doing so far this season. Has Aaron Rodgers been better than expected, less than expected, or right about where you thought he would be through two weeks? Hello. I would say I did about what I expected. I think he's thrown the ball. I think that, you know, they're, they're easing into this thing, too. He's been about as as expected. He had one really bad throw against the the 49ers that got tipped and, and intercepted. But I, I think he's been about exactly what I expected. Me a tad below. I think below a, a little bit below. I thought they'd be a little bit better offensively so far. It's been a struggle at times for them. Um, but but again, he hasn't played in so long and he is old. And he doesn't, like you said, doesn't move because of the. Can you imagine if he tried to plan that thing in January? Do you remember that? Yeah, when, I, I, know, I, I thought was, that was highly unlikely then, and I, it looks like it was a ridiculous yeah. thought now. Especially with knowing the when we see Kirk Cousins and we see Aaron Rodgers, yeah. what that would have looked like if he would have he would have just well, had he would have been stationary. Yes, he would have been a stationary quarterback for sure. And what you would have done is you just would have blitzed the hell out of him. All right, Sylvie, you mentioned something a little earlier in the show saying that this game against the Colts could be the toughest of the next five. So I'm going to list off the next five games for the Bears, and you tell me which one you guys think is the toughest. So you're at the Colts this weekend. Mm -hmm. You get the Rams at home next weekend, home against the Panthers. Then you're in London against the Jaguars for week one of two for the Jaguars. So you catch them on the front end there, which we know is important. And then you're at the Commanders. Those are your next five games. I, I think this is it. I, because I think even the, the Jags so far aren't as good as I thought they were going to be. And that's still a neutral site game. And I believe it counts as a Bears home game. So I think a lot of Bears season ticket holders have been able to get the tickets. I don't know how exactly that works, but it could be a pro Bears crowd. So I know they're more accustomed to playing there, but this is Indies is still a tough place to play, and they're desperate. I would lim I would list the Jags game as the most difficult challenge. I think they're a better overall team than than the Colts, but the other ones, I I mean, the Jags don't look good. They don't. Neither do the Colts. No, I know that, but I'm just saying that. What Jags are we, got what? a better Jags got a better quarterback. Right. Jags got a better defense. Jags, I just think top to bottom. What what the point totals have been very low for the Jags so far, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, they've been in like the high thirties. They should have beaten the Dolphins. They didn't, but they should have. They right. also, the yeah, they fumbled at the them. one, yeah. Yeah. ETN. So and they lost to the Browns a good defense, eighteen to yeah. thirteen last week. I yeah, I they, think they're having offensive line issues just like are. the Bears. They are. Yeah, that was something. You, Peterson is a guy that it's it's hard to get a feel for him. Mm -hmm. Like he you give him all the credit in the world. He led that team to a Super Bowl championship. But the Jags, to me, have not been the team that I thought they could be under. Nor his has watch. Lawrence been the yeah. quarterback that we all thought he would be, especially think, after he rebounded after Urban Meyer was there. Yeah, I think I think Lawrence was a little more banged up than everyone thought last year. But the overall body of work hasn't been what I thought it was going to be. Would you guys trade Bajent for Lawrence? Yes. Just it's good hair for hair, though. That's yes. it. it's hair for hair value. Yeah. Who wins the hair side? I think Lawrence still is 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 top dog. Bajan's making a real big play here, but but, but Lawrence is the hair guy. He's got kind of like uh, Fabio hair. Yeah, flat. It's yeah. flat. No body to it. No. Yeah. So versus Bajan's got the flow. He's got the lettuce. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd actually give Bajan. I think you the, do? the edge oh, in, okay. in hair. Okay. Um, all right, so this uh, happened. We we played the audio the other day after the game against the Texans, Caleb and C.J. Stroud meeting up at midfield. And the John out there, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, keep going. Stop taking those hits. Yeah, I know. I mean, right. Hey, yeah. learn from, learn, look, come here. Learn from those mistakes. And everything that you got, bro, is in you already, bro. You're going to be a hell of a player in this league. Yeah. All right, boy. Appreciate it. What's up? And then C.J. Stroud had to respond to this, saying that he didn't intend to little bro Caleb Williams. Is this the dumbest story that we've seen in the Bears universe so far this season? You read my mind. There's one thing I wrote down yesterday, Tyler. I mean, like, what kind of a world are we living in when one young quarterback wants to help out another young quarterback at midfield and just give him a little advice? And now all of a sudden, a couple of days later, 
he feels the need or like he's asked the question whether he was big broing him or not. CJ Stroud was trying to be a good dude to Caleb Williams because he respects his game and yeah. he respects him as a person. Well, and he also said there were, I think last year there were moments when guys came over to him and and give gave him similar type of of advice. Yeah, he basically said this was a pay it forward right. type of yeah, thing. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Like, I love when other guys, like the game respects game thing. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love, I love and it. And I think it's very sincere from CJ Stroud. So I, I would, I, I think it's silly too. I think unfortunately there's way too much of that stuff that goes much, on where people try to overanalyze. Things. Much better than going with the boy, you suck, dude. Yeah, Rouse. right. Yeah. yeah. Have we ever had one of those? Jay, uh, Jay did that sometimes to quarterbacks. <laughs> Brady did it to, um, to a couple, didn't he? What did, Jimmy Garoppolo? <laughs> did, well, and did he hate Nick Foles? Oh well, that's he, right. he yeah. stiffed him. Twice. He stiffed Col uh, Foles. He like wouldn't. Speaking of stiff, yeah. Well, I mean, that's because that's because he lost, right? Yes. Uh, Twice. When Tom Both Brady times. lost, yeah, he was he, envious, Super Bowl. On, and he was envious on the behind the scenes stuff, allegedly. Yeah. No shrinkage there. Okay. No, I believe it's been you confirmed. Don't I don't. I believe I mean, it's been confirmed by Tom multiple sources. If Tom could improve something with enhance with some sort of medical attention, don't you think he would do it? Have you seen the woman he is rumored to be dating? I have not. She was on TMZ. I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know who she is, but she's a ten, and I don't know if there are I'm many shots. No, but a ten, a true ten. I'm shocked. I, I know, but there aren't tens. This woman's. I, I don't know who I'm this shocked. is. Shocked. Did you expect Tom Brady to be hauling ass around town with a six? Really? I don't. Do you know who I'm talking about, Tyler? Who is this woman? I haven't seen this. I'll have to look so it up. He, I th is she a dancer? Because at first she was asked about another guy. You mean is she a dancer? Because like in a gentleman's club? No, like I'm maybe dancing with the stars or oh. something. I'm not sure because TMZ showed her being interviewed about another guy. And she's like, no, we just dance together. We have good chemistry dancing. So I, I, I don't know anything about this woman. And I've never seen her before. And I saw her Arena. and I'm like, show Arena no, it's something? Brooks Nader. There you go. Do, should I know who Brooks Nader is? Uh, Sounds like you already do. I saw the video yesterday and I, I watched it three close times. His eyes. I watched it three times. Brooke, what's her name? Brooks Nader. Brooks Nader. Who is she? She's a SI swimsuit model. She's clearly aware of the TB12 method, but is she familiar with the Nick Foles 12 method? That's the question. <laughs> the NF12. You got to see this video. I take your word for it. I think Tom Brady is probably, you know, he's probably hanging out with attractive people. I sure. know that. I know. But even this. This surprised me. Just how beautiful she was? Yes. <laughs> so she's not a 10. She's like a 12. Y yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it's probably the most stunning person I've seen in a, in a long time. I mean, like, wow, are you surprised I mean, I, by that? Uh, no, I, 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 the, the praise for Brooke Nader is, is effusive. I, I'm, uh, I have no... I have no retort. Am I, what, are, are you surprised by that? You know, she's, like, no. she's very uh, reminiscent of a young Cindy Crawford. She does have some Cindy Crawford. Yes, you're very... For anyone who like is uh, yeah unfamiliar with and what she, she looks like. She was on Dancing with the Stars. For the, the younger way. people, she she looks a little like uh, Addison Ray. Who's that? She's like a TikTok star. She's 27. Uh, had a spouse uh, from 2019 to 2022. She's decided that Tom Brady is now. Billy Hare? Is that her, her former spot? It says. I'm Googling right now. It's all. That's Wikipedia, I think, is giving me off my It says, Brooks Nader is a supermodel actress known for her impeccable style and captivating presence. See, I was captivated. It sounds like you still are. Very. Like, I... <laughs> it's like the, the, the feeling I got when I watched Derrick Rose play for the first time. That same sort of feeling. I'm like, not I was shocked. shocked that a point I, guard. I am not shocked. I was shocked that like a point guard could play like that. When I was when I was going through Instagram yesterday and I saw this video, I'm like, who wow. Is that reminds me of Derek Brooks soaring above <laughs> no, the rim in his Derek rookie Brooks. season. Derek I mean, Rose. Derek Rose. Derek Rose. 
They're just wow moments in your life when you're you're surprised when you see with, a when TikTok you see, model and Derek Rose. Well, there's some things the that rip. make your jaw drop. Okay, for just different reasons. And your pants tight. <laughs> which would you? Which do you think made your pants tighter? Watching Derek Rose play in his rookie season or that? That video. No, this is uh, Derek Rose, his freshman year at Memphis. Okay. When I first turned that television on, I was in a workout room and I turned that time and I knew him from Simeon. Did you have to leave the workout room because you, I couldn't believe my eyes. I'm like, this guy is a point guard. This kid's a point guard. And he's, he's, and then like the famous line that Cal told us was his chin hits the rim. And then he stopped. He paused. He goes, no, 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 you don't understand his chin hits the rim and you're amazed. And then when I turned on Instagram yesterday, my chin hit, hit the floor. You don't understand. My chin hit the floor. This has been, uh, what was the great. question? What was your, yeah. uh, of Aki's a list? What were we talking about? Even the question was, did you know a man's penis may shrink when he gets to be of, uh, an older age? You were at, what were you at? We were talking I about, asked Nick, about Nick, the Nick Falls. And... No, no, no. We I asked about the is this the dumbest <laughs> CJ Stroud oh, giving advice? Here? Because uh, <laughs> we were talking about people who have like stood each other up at midfield, and it was Tom Brady, Nick Foles, and next thing you know, oh yeah, we were talking you know. about who yeah. Tom Brady's dating. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. she was in denial. She blushed and she would not. Because at first they were asking her about another guy, and she said, "No, we're not dating." And then they asked her about Tom Brady. And she started blushing, and she would not answer the question. She says, I'm dating someone. I'm not going to say who. Busted. TV okay. 12. I, the best part of this whole conversation is he's amazed that Tom Brady's got everything in life. But it's, it, it, it's, it's unfair. Isn't it unfair? Like, he took Greg Olson's job. He's the greatest quarterback of all time. At least he's bad at broadcasting right now. Right? <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's I the shot see, Friday you can look into. His, I didn't see his second game. Was but it, he's it being, was no better he's than mad. the first? He needs yeah. to get more comfortable. He's being paid how much, though, for it? $300 million, isn't the it? 375 I believe it is. He's getting paid $375 million at it. So he's probably making about two mil a game. Like, that's his game oh. check. Wow. All right. There, I don't know how we got there. If you want to react, 312332. Let's see what Pat Boyle sent yeah. us. Tom Brady dating a hot supermodel who's a 12 out of 10 is the least surprising thing you'll ever hear. <laughs> Amen, PB. I, but, but I, Amen. Again, I, you should see the complete surprise on his face, Pat. That Tom Brady is dating a no, really attractive no. woman. I know, I know. A surprising thing since Derek Rose was soaring <laughs> above the rim. <laughs> I don't know where what we're doing. All right, Jeff Joniak's going to join us at six in your phone calls. 312-332-3776. When was the last time your jaw hit the ground? Anything that you saw? Oh, that John Lester sinker. Yes, oh, could, oh, my God. Sports or otherwise. Like, ring it up right now, then. Uh, like, the last thing you witnessed that made your jaw hit the ground. It could be anything. Anything on your mind. I just told you mine. I'll, I'll ask you, what was the last thing that made your jaw hit the ground? 